Well, welcome back to another riveting edition of Pardee's Shop Shenanigans. Glad to have the yard shenanigans behind me and uh, those two big old fir trees taken care of. Time to get working on Stanley again. My 1962 C20, this 235 straight six uh, engine. I have no idea what shape it's in. Um, I have got the starter back in. And uh, in fact, check this out. Pretty impressive, huh? <laughs> and you're wondering, why does it sound so funny? Well, I've pulled all the spark plugs out and I'm gonna do a compression check. Now, for those of you who might be new to um, old engines and working on cars, an internal combustion engine needs three things to operate. It needs air, it needs fuel, it needs fire. Um, air, obviously, through the uh, intake and the air cleaner. Fuel, obviously gasoline comes into a carburetor. This is old style. Carburetor, fuel is pumped into a bowl. It's brought into the engine in a mist, goes into the cylinder, and then the distributor sends spark to that cylinder. And when everything is going whiz bang like it should, you get an explosion driving the piston down, you have power, an engine runs. It's just that simple, right? But I thought before I actually try to fire this up and make it run, I'm going to check the compression in each of the six cylinders. And I do that with a compression checker. It's got a gauge on it, you might see here. Okay. And uh, I'm just going to put this in where the spark plug goes. Kind of tricky with the hose on here. Doesn't help when you're half blind, I suppose. There we go. Oh, come on, you little booger. Okay, so I've put this hose down in where the spark plug goes into the cylinder. I'm going to crank it over, and if we've got compression, it's going to build up and it's hold it. And let's see what we have. Now, good mechanics would have a remote starter and wouldn't have to run back and forth. Okay, we've got, if you can see that, we're at about 100 pounds of compression. Now, I did that dry, 100 pounds dry. And what that means is that cylinder wall is not lubricated. The engine's not been running. And so I want to get a little more accurate representation now. And I'm going to put about three skirts of oil right down into the cylinder here. And oil actually acts as a sealant as well as a lubricant, if you will. And let's see if I get any different results. Okay, let's give it a go. So we were at about 110 PSI before, and bam, we're up to about 120 now. So what I'm going to do is not bore you with going through all six cylinders, but I'm going to do the same compression check on all six cylinders, I want to write that down and I want to see how much variance I have from one cylinder to the next. Um, school of thought I've always been trained with is I should have about 10% variance. Um, this will also tell me if I have a sticky valve or a bad valve, if I have one cylinder that's really low compression. I want to do this on an engine I know nothing about um, before I start it so I don't maybe make something worse than it could already be. So. I'll carry on with this and I'll be back and I'll give you the results.
Well, great news, great news, great news. I've gone through all six cylinders, compression check, and uh, cylinders one through four, all at 150 pounds consistent. Whenever I do a compression check, I'll do the same cylinder three times in a row just to make sure I'm not getting something weird going on. First four cylinders, beautiful. 150, 150, 150, 150. Cylinder number five at 155 pounds compression and cylinder number six, a little bit lower at 130, but that's, that's well within happy for me, especially for a 1962 model that I know nothing about. So far, I feel pretty good about the future of this little 235. I'm going to button it up. It's been a long day, had a lot going on. And um, on the next video, we'll go ahead and set the uh, firing order, get the spark plugs put back in, and um, I'll check the points and uh, gap on the points. Um, and then I think I have to get into that carburetor. I did buy a carburetor rebuild kit. We'll probably go through that real quick. And from that point, Next uh, episode, I fully expect Stanley to be running and smoking this shop up so he can make the neighbors wonder what we're doing. Hey, if you enjoy these videos, please hit that like button. Uh, maybe even subscribe. Tell a friend or 10 or 30 as well. I'd love to share that with you. If you got any comments, please, I want your feedback. Um, be honest. Be kind. Okay? This is Bob with Party Shop Shenanigans. Until next time, see ya.